Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, what is Serlet interface. Uh, suppose say you want to create a new Serlet. Then what you have to do is you have to implement the Serlet interface directly or indirectly. So implement the Serlet interface directly meaning you have to write a Java class uh, which will implement the Serlet interface and in that class you have to provide implementation of uh, all the methods uh, which are available in the Serlet interface. Okay, so that is uh, directly. Indirectly meaning you can write a, your own uh, generic Serlet that extends the uh, Java X dot Serlet dot uh, generic Serlet abstract class or uh, you can write a, uh, your own HTTP Serlet that extends uh, Java X dot Serlet dot HTTP dot HTTP uh, Serlet abstract class. Okay. Um, so here uh, uh, you can see the methods which are available in the uh, Serlet interface. Okay. So basically, uh, it has uh, three uh, uh, lifecycle methods uh, like uh, init, uh, service, and uh, destroy. And uh, it has uh, two non lifecycle methods like uh, get serlet info and uh, get serlet config. So this get serlet info method is used to uh, returns information about the serlet uh, like author, version, copyright. And uh, get serlet config uh, method will return the serlet config object uh, which contains initialization and uh, startup parameter for the particular uh, serlet okay and uh, now we will see the uh, example how to write a uh, um, sample uh, serlet uh, just implementing the uh, serlet interface okay So here you can see the Serlet interface uh, uh, web application. Uh, first I will uh, just uh, deploy the application. Uh, then I will come back and uh, explain the uh, web.xml, uh, first serlet.java, etc. Okay. So I selected the root directory, clicking on uh, file, export, then clicking on var file. Then I am placing uh, Serlet interface dot var inside the Tomcat uh, web app folder. Okay. Click on finish. Then I am going to start the server. Uh, server has been uh, started. Uh, now I will access the web application uh, using this uh, URL. I have given uh, till context path. Then I am clicking on enter. So here what it is uh, showing is uh, index.html uh, content which is the welcome page. Okay. Then uh, I am clicking on uh, first alert link. So it will append uh, first alert uh, in the URL. Then this uh, request will go to the web server. Uh, the web server will uh, delegate the request to the web container. Uh, the web container what it will do is uh, it will check. Uh, this URL pattern is there in the web.xml and it will identify the corresponding uh, serlet class. Okay, so if you see this uh, web.xml, here uh, URL pattern for serlet is there. Okay, uh, in the serlet mapping. So based on this URL pattern, it will identify the serlet name. So the same serlet name is available in this uh, serlet tag, right? So for this serlet name, this is the corresponding uh, serlet class first serlet okay so it will load this uh, first serlet uh, uh, serlet class and uh, it will instantiate the uh, first serlet uh, class uh, then it will call the init method or the first serlet uh, instance okay so now we will see uh, how the first serlet uh, will look like okay so this is the first serlet uh, class which implements uh, serlet interface so serlet has uh, five methods right uh, three uh, life cycle method like init uh, service and uh, destroy and uh, two uh, non life cycle method like uh, uh, get serlet config and uh, get serlet info so here uh, we have implemented all the methods and uh, provide uh, some implementation you can see here init and uh, service and destroy uh, get serlet config and uh, get serlet info okay so uh, 
uh, what servlet container will do is it will uh, load the servlet class and it will call the uh, init method first right uh, so once the initialization is done then it will call the uh, service method okay so service method is a method uh, which will handle the request and process the request and it will send a response back to the uh, client okay so you can see okay so i access that uh, first servlet uh, url right so here so i will open this console you can see here first it called the init method okay then it has uh, called the service method okay so you can see the uh, output in this page hello symbol servlet that is what uh, we are writing here okay hello symbol servlet then uh, servlet info so so to get that uh, servlet info what uh, i am doing is i am calling uh, get servlet uh, info method uh, which is uh, here so this is overridden method uh, so it just uh, written copyright uh, 2014 uh, 0101 and version 3.0 so that is what you are seeing in the second line okay servlet info and uh, then uh, i am calling get servlet config uh, here so that will call uh, this overridden method so it will return the config object okay so this config object is already initialized uh, here okay uh, so uh, the servlet container will pass uh, uh, servlet config object to this uh, init method so, okay so that uh, config object is uh, initialized here that is uh, uh, written in this uh, get servlet config uh, method okay so that is what i am printing uh, here okay so you can see the output here this is a servlet uh, config object okay uh, then uh, finally one method is left which is destroy right then what i will do is uh, i will stop the server and you can see this method will be uh, called by the servlet container okay I will stop so you can see uh, destroy method has been called and servlet is uh, destroyed okay so when uh, servlet is uh, taken out of uh, service uh, this uh, destroy method will be called by the servlet container okay so I hope uh, you understand uh, 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 what is uh, servlet interface and how to write a new servlet by just implementing the uh, servlet interface right and i have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called uh, ram j2e uh, you can just visit my uh, blog and get this uh, sample code okay and uh, this is about uh, servlet interface uh, uh, explanation and uh, thanks for watching bye